Ah, YouTube search for Antifa. You see here, police arrest Antifa protesters. It can stay. No, I'm, I'm not doing any alteration. This is what came up in the YouTube search for Antifa. And that's the backdrop he, we're going to be using here. See, I watched some of these, I guess. Because I watched it. Antifa tries to throw punches and gets to mask. It's interesting, though. Look at the... Uh, yeah, for those of you that say YouTube is what well, YouTube is, I'm not going to say it's it's definitely progressive biased, but uh, it's not. You know, well, well, then I don't know. Maybe within the establishment, progressives, the Antifa might not necessarily be their favorites. So maybe who knows? But still, you do a search for Antifa on YouTube, and <clears throat> it's interesting. Uh, it's. So uh, not not what what you what you don't see is really you don't really see like some sort of balanced uh, uh coherent uh portrayal i guess of of what what is antifa uh what do you see here now i, I what do you see here now hope I, i'm thinking i'm hoping that this is not a manipulated outcome. I'm assuming that the, this is more a reflection of, of user preferences. Who knows? I don't know. But uh, uh, if, if that's if, if, if it is more user preferences, and it's not really a YouTube problem, it's a, it's a user problem, but then that's other issues. But uh, uh, it, it, there's just not a lot of presentation of, of, of any kind of coherent... It's just, I mean, it's overwhelmingly negative. It's just, it's just bad. Antifa ends up bloody after assaulting marchers. Bad night for them terrorists. It's just, it's just awful, man. It's Crowder confronts violent Antifa ice killer. So why am I here, though, to tell you about this? Uh, I'm here to talk to you about Punch a Nazi. <clears throat> And I think that the punch a Nazi narrative, and I've 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 gone through uh, many iterations and evolutions. And when I say evolutions, I don't mean to say like I am advanced. I mean evolutions because some of my evolutions turn out to be devolutions, and I don't know them at the time. Like <laughs> there are things that I believed in 2003 that I came to not believe, and now I'm coming back to believe them again. So my evolution was a devolution, but then maybe devolutions have their place but uh my <laughs> processes through which i have uh analyzed in my own head through various methods the the underlying principles of panchanazi and what it means to walk those principles out and there have been various times where i was I guess my, my reactions to Punch and Nazi have all have, have mostly ranged between violently opposed to I'm just I'm gonna be neutral until I figure out some more things. Those were I, I never really moved into the yeah, totally cool with Punch and Nazi. And I'm not there. I'm still not there and I don't think I ever will be. Um but <clears throat> I want to explain Punch a Nazi as I've understood it from speaking to people who have claimed to be actual, you know, they would identify in some capacity as being part of this overall Antifa. I'm going to call it the Antifa aggregate because that's what we're really talking about. We're talking about an Antifa aggregate. Whenever you, it's like basically if if these were Christians, if this was a certain uh, sect of Christians that were doing this, of course, if you're if you're on the on the of the progressive slant, uh, there's numerous practical reasons why it would be in your best interest to advance and just write. Why are Christians allowed on Twitter when? ISIS aren't or something like that instead of why is Antifa allowed on Twitter when Proud Boys aren't. I'm not saying that either one of them are ISIS, by the way. I'm just saying that, you know, that, that type of shock and all of it t titling. Uh, so, of course, that's what the conservatives are doing with Antifa is they are 
They're taking the worst of the worst examples, uh, subjectively speaking, objectively speaking, I don't know. I don't know all of the cases and the claims and what is factually accurate or not, but uh, you know, by, by by what they by their standards, whatever they are, that these are you know objective uh, demonstrations of the hideousness of Antifa. Um, so when 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 you have people planting bombs in uh, police stations, that's easy an easy connection to make. And I don't know if they've ever really. I don't know who actually planted those bombs what they've actually found out but you know if it was an anti uh, uh you know self i uh, self-identified anti foul group or not I haven't heard much about what they've made arrests or not i gotta look into that but anyway here we have i'll, I'll just my personal experience because i have friends i have friends in multiple spectrums so i i have i have christian friends and hey these friends and progressive friends and my anarchist friends, I have a lot of anarchist, probably more anarchist friends than anything, but but not not overwhelmingly. Like I have plenty of diversity in political views in my friendship world, I'll say. But uh, you know, there there's a there's a, a small coterie of friends that uh, kind of swim in the uh, well, I guess it would be the anarchist left family, and uh, Antifa is in that that anarchist left family. Although the, not everybody who claims to be Antifa. He's actually, by the definition of many, quote unquote antifa, are actual authentic, quote unquote antifa, because they would they would actually say they were tankies. Tanky is a, a, a derisive term used by some left anarchists against others who uh, basically advocate for the state to, uh, by by any means necessary, create the uh, workers' paradise. They call them tankies, and they. We're basically rolling out the tanks, and so they're the Soviets and the the Marx, the the well, certain not all Marxists, by the way, actually are Soviet type Marxists. There are other Marx, self-identified Marxists who are. Well, it's really complicated. I'll just say that. I'm just going to say that, and, and and what I hope to show in my experience with the whole punch a Nazi thing is is how complex it all is, like. You know, going around and saying capitalism is evil. Wow, what what does that even mean? Because what is capitalism? Going around saying socialism is evil is the same thing. Because these the word capitalism is is a uh, <laughs> it doesn't mean the same thing to all people. Neither does socialism. And and self identified capitalists and self identified socialists they don't all believe the same things. Even if what you see is uh, certain groups that. Uh, you know, call themselves capitalist or socialist, whatever. And they certain they seem to act in in ways that you would say is is bad, or you are portraying that they're acting, whether it's true or not. It doesn't matter. Perception is real. All that matters is perception. Uh, and so then, all capitalist and all capitalism means this most evil thing. All socialist and all socialism means this most evil thing. So, so it is with Antifa. And I am neither for or against Antifa. I'm I'm still unsettled on their approaches. Although some of them, yes, I can say definitely I'm opposed to. <laughs> and maybe you'll see this in when I'm about to unload here. Punch a Nazi. <clears throat> if you talk to Antifa folks about Punch a Nazi, what you're going to find is uh, unlike, uh, you're, you're definitely, when you're talking to a more statist, leftist you're going to get much more of the hive mind cookie cutter responses. Now, to a certain degree, all groups produce this type of cookie cutter. You know, you, you, where you've learned the 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 great power codes that will fell your enemy with logical power, and you don't even understand. You don't even need to understand uh, the, the 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 evidence uh, that uh, this statement is rooted in. All you need is the statement. It's like a magic. Uh, declaration. So, uh, you always have that to a certain degree, but amongst the Antifa type folks, y you get that in just quantum leaps less than you do amongst the more status leftist. Uh, 
uh, but you do get some and and actually the the w- what i found generally is the the ones that lean towards a more aggressive interpretation of punch a nazi um those are the ones that uh would kind of fall more in that camp generally speaking that that you start to get more of some of that cookie cutter response <laughs> generally speaking the ones who who rest the strongest on some claim of absolute moral authority are the ones that tend to then produce a lot of these cookie cutter magic formula uh phrases that uh what they believe will fell their enemy and their enemy can do nothing about it. And, and they don't even have to understand, you know, the power behind it. All they have to understand is it works. Right? So the first question is Nazi. Among Antifa, you're going to get uh, a wide variety of uh, responses as far as the degree to which it's on your side to first establish that the individual who qualifies for punching is actually a Nazi. Uh, for some, the you know they got they got a, at the very least if they, if they're doing something public, they they really have to demonstrate pretty clearly that they're Nazis, and uh, like declaring that they're Nazis, <laughs> and actually saying white power or whatever whatever they do when they do what they do uh so then uh the other be below that uh below the uh that that level of is is something called the the dog whistling so you're looking if people they know that they can't walk down the street and say white power so now they have dog whistles and then amongst the dog whistle crowd you have narrower and broader definitions of dog whistles and narrower and broader uh, extrapolations upon hearing a dog whistle. So, for instance, for some, you just got to say one thing, and that's it. You're a Nazi. So, you just say Western civilization, you're a Nazi. For others, they need to see patterns. They need to see more. So, but, but they're, you know, for some of them, they're going to tell, you know, we do our homework, and they, and they do. They, they research, uh, they're figuring out the groups, they're looking at the associations, they're looking at the leaders. And I, I don't know the degree of their scholarship and uh, commitment to uh, truth. I don't, I, I have no, I, I imagine it's not like it's one group that's doing all of this. This is like independent uh, collectives, if you will, that are operating and uh, they don't all have the same standards. So some may apply more rigid and some less standards, but uh what you'll find is a pretty wide range as far as what gets you classified a Nazi. Now, what's interesting is you can almost always see a correlation between uh, the, uh, the, the broader definition people, the ones that want to apply Nazi to a broader range of people. They're also the ones that tend to want to in, uh, interpret the application of Ponce and Nazi to the widest extreme. So, and they also, also tend to, uh, I, I don't think coincidentally, they also tend to be the ones that, uh, kind of rest more on this, uh, this, this, these, these kinds of claims of, uh, moralistic truth, uh, something like, uh, you know, whether it's equality or, 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 or justice, um, uh, but, but usually it's framed in, in terms of classes, in terms of the workers uh, getting back from the capitalist uh, what is rightfully owed to them and uh, the standards for the degrees to which they are willing to uh, commit to proactive actions, uh, proactive actions that use some form of coercion or violence. Uh, and not simply uh, defensive. So they have a, I guess you could say the best defense is a good offense, but in their case, they're not even trying to be defensive in some. Uh, But again, the range is wide and varied. So when you talk to them about the punching part, now you're going to get into another divide 
which begins with the 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 one extreme is a punch a Nazi is this: you're walking in a public space and you're saying stuff that is Nazi. Now, when I say that is Nazi, remember it doesn't have to be white power. It could be Western civilization. It could be the dog whistles. And and again, I told you, you know, varying degrees of in, of interpretation uh, as to when we assume that if we hear these dog whistles, that that person is, you know, whether they're a Nazi or not. That for all practical reasons, we should consider them a Nazi at the very least. Strategically, it would be fit, it would be stupid for us to uh, put ourselves in a position where we would have to go to such great lengths. But uh, to to prove that some that these groups are actually Nazis before we kick their butts like we need to do. So the punch a Nazi part <clears throat> has on the one extreme, on the one level, it's you're out in public. You're saying Nazi and or dog whistle things. And then for others, punch a Nazi is, listen, it's it's not just literally punching Nazis. It's punching Nazis, like figuratively. So get them fired from work. Uh, destroy their business if they have a business. Wh- whatever social groups they belong to. Get them ostracized from them groups. Get them, get them, get them kicked out of the community. Get them... Get them ostracized. Get them destroyed. And you don't need to wait for them to be in the public square. You go after them wherever they are. You root them out. You especially go after them in the public square. But, you know, the public square is everywhere now. These people are on the internet. They're in the public square. And whenever they do that, then that means they get punched. Figuratively and or literally. And then for others, it's, no, man, you open up a big old can of worms, uh, you, you go down that path. And I'm not saying whether they're right or wrong. Or I'm just saying this, this is what I found. So it's, uh, now we're just, we're just going to punch them in the public square and, uh, uh, in the, uh, digital square, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to battle them within the digital square. But I mean, not, 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 not that any of them would not be against, like if, if it's pretty clear that someone is a Nazi that you don't, that you, and, and, and they have some position of influence that uh, you you still try to destroy their their lives however you can with with you know economic uh, social uh, ostracisms. Um, so yeah, I think they'd all be willing to do that. But uh, for some, again, it's the proofs. For some, there's a higher level of proof, and for others, it's a lower level of proof. Now, all of this is not for me to tell you what you should think about Punch a Nazi. I am using Punch a Nazi to demonstrate that, uh, I hope, hopefully I've demonstrated, that you're going to see things in uh, in the media and from people like me. You know, the, uh, I guess, the, uh, the just just the the independent person who fancies themselves a a guru or a oracle or a or a a windbag or, a, or whatever other titles whatever titles they want to use you know you know I'm the great newscaster of my mind whatever all of us we're all contributing to some degree to the simplistic narratives because the simplistic narratives get attention and nuance. And attempts to fully try to understand uh, just just don't happen. And uh, there's some some really good conversations that you could be having with folks that identify as Antifa. These folks, the, the, these folks are are working on ways for individuals to live cooperatively uh, without having to use coercive means to do so. And there, there, there's a lot of these. Th- they, I, I tell you, uh, amongst the anarchist community, I, I, I don't want to say it's like a total, like they, they totally dominate. But uh, I would say, generally speaking, from my personal experience is only the left anarchist folks. They do a lot more direct action stuff than than generally the right anarchist folks. Uh, the right anarchist folks are actually a lot more, I don't know, theory and philosophical in general. 
than a lot of the left anarchists. Uh, but those are generalizations, uh, uh, and and there's 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 it's not like a huge significant difference, like where one totally dominates the area. Because left anarchists they they philosophize plenty, <laughs> they have plenty of uh, yeah. In in the right, the the you know a lot of the debate is centered around property, and in in the left, a lot of debate is centered around. Uh, uh, when, when do you, when do you, when, when is it time to fight? There's a, there's a, there's a big differences, I, I would say. But what I hope I, I demonstrated here is that, uh, uh, what you see out there and you do a search for, for fa uh, antipod, this is all you see. It's just not very sophisticated and it's a much more nuanced story. And it's a story that if you understand it more, you understand more about what's going on in America. Uh, and you're not just living out the the, the cartoon shrillery <clears throat> that most of us are are compelled to support because if we don't, you guys ain't gonna talk to us. You ain't gonna see our video. You're not gonna listen to our podcast. You're not gonna click on our articles. You're just not. You're fundamentally not interested in nuance. And you know, I'm not judging you for that one way. It's not. You know, they're. I don't know what the, I can't quite understand yet why specifically uh, you are that way and my suspicion that we are that way because I'm the same way. I, I tend to be gravitated towards uh, the candy too, even though I know, man, I got, I got to, I got to be, you know, I got to look deeper, but man, it's hard. And uh, I don't know if it's just because I'm an idiot or if it's just because I haven't overcome uh, years and years of conditioning in a world that, uh, right from the start was, uh, uh, trying to train my brain to think and act in certain patterns, patterns, which encouraged more heuristic thinking, I'll say, rather than analytical. <clears throat> and I'm all for heuristics. I'm, I'm not against any of that, but, uh, uh, yeah, we could do with a lot more analytical. Anyway, that's the end of my rant.